There is a tower I want to showcase that got buffed this patch. And, uh, well, it's the Mortar. You may have already seen it. It's pretty much all the Mortar buffs I want to showcase. So, uh, first off, the biggest one got a buff to the 502. Does more Bernie stuff now because, you know, when they made it more expensive, they uh, didn't account for uh, the, you know, 502 benefiting as much. So now, to top it off, it does more damage. And, uh, Balloon Sin, yes. 205 is actually better now. If you saw the 2TC video, I know I went for 025, and I said it was a worse cross path, which it is. But, yeah, this time I want to go for 205. We're also going to do a Black Border run on this map. I know that sounds pretty easy, because, well, I just did a 2TC, so... <laughs> Wouldn't doing mortars, or multiple mortars, be a little too easy? Yes, that's why I'm planning to probably go more than 100 rounds. But, at least... I want to black border this. Can't start with a mortar, obviously, so I'll see if a ninja starts possible. It is, right? Not as good as a druid, but... Yeah, that works, kind of. I think I'll buy me a ninja discipline, actually, uh, instead of seeking. Just because I'm already... Well, I'm hoping that the extra attack speed in range does better than seeking. And then save for striker next. Now, you might say that 2 is your 5, yes. Like, it shoots slow, so it, it might miss balloons, but... That's what support stuff is for, right? We got a stun with the biggest one. I know it stuns less, but we'll have, like, buffs from Biker Bones giving... Sorry, Striker Jones. I don't have the skin on. But the attack speed will help out. Help mitigate the uh, lack of attack speed from our other mortars. But yeah, just in general. 2 your 5 is just better now. Because, uh, like, you can't get the Bernie stuff to uh, burn faster with attack speed. It doesn't work like that. So, it's just straight up 50% more damage as long as you uh, land the fire and stuff. Anyways, I can get Biker now. Striker. Also, I guess this new is this update, but Striker has a new pet. That's really cute. What about Middle Path? Oh, we're gonna go for that as well. We're gonna do an Axis and Mortar here. Uh, before that, let's think about where I want to put each Mortar. Like, which plot of land should I put it on? Like, which one should I go for first with the plus one damage? Would that be... Uh, Artillery battery, big one, or maybe uh, shattering shells. Now, before that, I think I need to buy uh, two zero one zero two two zero one. Okay, screw it. Yeah, this one doesn't unlock till this round, so sadly, I couldn't go for that. Well, we get go for it now at least. Oh, and also, crap! I kind of didn't want to go two zero one because I kind of wanted to turn this ninja into a useful tower later on, like something like a sabo. But yeah, kind of saw it early game here, so that's whatever. Artillery Battery. Honestly, that might be the best choice because that one has the least base damage. So it does better for plus one damage because big one eventually gets like, what, 30 per shot? And uh, Artillery just stays at like 2 slash 3. This will be the one that doesn't get Bernie stuff though. Other two cross bats, of course, will be Bernie. But yeah, now that they made the cross bats better for biggest one and balloons in, I feel like they're missing a better cross bat for Artillery Battery because I think far and away... 240 is still better, right? In all situations compared to 042. Because I don't think the Bernie gets extra benefits from the well, middle path here. I guess they'll touch on that eventually, since again, they're going over every cross path in the game, it seems. Bit by bit. Also, uh, we are on round 37, and there's more camos here. Can we get all of them here? Nice. I still don't have my uh, Bernie stuff, by the way. When does the next plot of land military come up? Oh, 18. Oh, that's so far away. I don't think I can survive with this if I don't have decamo. So I might need to put a, another mortar, like, outside the range of everything. It's a shame that you can only, there's only three, like, land military plots of land, because the other two are used for water. And then there's the tiny tower plots that I can't fit a mortar on, so... Unlucky. I'll do another mortar over here. I can just use a sub. No. This is a mortar challenge. We are using mortars. Now, I did say mortars and mortars only, but I might do a bit of support. So, like, once I get axes and mortar, I will get a couple more mortars, uh, maybe as supplementary. And then I'll buff them with, like, homeland, elk buff. We'll see exactly. You know what would really be nice uh, for this challenge is if uh, they implemented the uh, Fallen Mouse mortars. I know it's largely unnecessary, but, you know, when you do something like spamming mortars, most people won't get more than, like, three mortars in a game, but... For a challenge like this, it would be very beneficial. Because, yeah, right now... The thing is, if you didn't know, a couple updates ago, they buffed this thing to... 
give extra bad damage. So uh, you definitely want to want to spam the artillery battery once you get all your other mortars. So because those have a pretty tiny radius, uh, yeah. I'm going to need to target manually all of them. Everybody pray for my sanity come late game. It's funny that in the time I've been trying to wait to get number 18 unlocked, we've pretty much almost afforded Papanah. But obviously, I'm not going to go for that. I think we want to go for a big one, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, with attack speed, big one, right? I think so, yeah. You could really go no wrong with Bloonsin or a big one. But I'll do a 402 to start off. Bloonsin is hard to save up for, yeah, that is true. But don't underestimate the Shattering Shells. The 204 uh, now has 8 burning damage instead of 5. So that is pretty good. And in fact, that might have been another way I could have done 2 TC the other day. But I guess doing it the way I did was more exciting. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Also, before anybody mentions it, they the Bernie does stack. I did test it before this. So don't worry. You can mix the 45 Bernie damage with the big one with the 150 for the balloons in. We're all good there. Oh, I also just realized the other military plot of land is also attack speed. So that's... uh. Pretty generous NK. Because they give us less military land plots, they compensate us with two jungle drums. Very cool. Okay, this save up to biggest one is not as, I guess, chill as it seems. So you gotta do a lot of micro in order to survive here, or, yeah. So let's go for biggest one. And I think now we can just leave it in place for the most part. Yeah, what a great map for, for mortars. Literally gets a whole third of the map. And then you can just move it very simply front to back with this guy. Now we have unlocked uh, Military Plot of Land number 3, so we're going to work on our 205. I'm not going to buy it even if I can afford it real soon though, because I just want to see how long the biggest one can carry with this new Bernie stuff it's got. Again, 25 to 45 burn damage is not even scoff at. And I think Biker level 20, it doubles the damage of bombs and mortars, which I think also applies to the Bernie stuff. Probably if I'm wrong about this, but that would make it 90. And that sounds, well, pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, also, I just realized that I probably shouldn't solo, or rather, wait till I die. Because I am black watering. So maybe what I'll do is I'll buy these towers, and uh, when I uh, am in trouble, move back at the entrance. Okay, in case you guys are curious about how much DPS we're getting, well, I guess look at the mortar here. Nothing too interesting to look at, actually. It's not doing that much damage, but... Yeah, the stun slowly helps us pop it a bit earlier. You know, it's actually funny. You can barely notice the stun on ZMGs. Because it's a reduced uh, duration on them. Damn. <laughs> That's actually a bit worse than I thought. Huh. Well, either way. Look how quickly the insides die. With that uh, 45 DOT. Pretty nutty. Alright, bit of micro for 87. Literally, all you gotta do is hit the ceramics plants, and the Bernie, the Bernie damage will uh, pretty much get them down in one tick, which is pretty uh, funny. Even with uh, F ceramics, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I just got Bloonson, by the way, just in case. Alright, watch here. See? It takes two ticks, but Bernie doesn't, you know, last for more than one tick, so they pop pretty fun stuff. And for DATs, we should also be fine, as long as we decam with them. Which we do. Bernie stuff takes it down. Okay, I'm pretty sure we lose to... Well, not lose to 95 here, but... I'm just gonna move the balloons in a little bit up, just in case. So, let's, uh... Use... That now. It's done. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move things a little bit back here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna start using the balloons in here. I just, uh... Got a little bit scared. You know, when stakes are higher, you know... <laughs> Just kind of got to do the safer play. So, yeah. We'll start activating all the mortars. So, balloons in the front. 97 goes nowhere. 98 also goes nowhere. And same with 98, right? Kind of a bit risky having nothing over on the right side. But, yeah, again. Trust in the radius of biggest one. Literally just need one hit. And it burns. Oh, also 205. I missed a... I missed a DDT. I got to move this back. Okay, round 100. If there's ever time to use uh, double damage with Striker, it would be now. So let me see. Is that doing double damage? Let's see the burn damage there. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's going up 90. I think this one's also affected. 
Yeah, yeah, that's 300 per tick. Nice. Striker level 20 OP. If only we could have a fast cooldown on that. Also, I completely forgot to get more artillery batteries because I am taking quite a while to take this bad damage, actually. Again, this is where I would really love a follow mouse because I got to move, like, all these manually right now. I'll use Poppin' on just with funsies. Highly unnecessary, but we're here to overkill this bad payback for making me suffer for the last time I played this map. And with that, GG. However, I'm gonna maybe go to 120 for this. We'll start adding other buffs to our mortars just to see if mega buffing those would help. So for one, definitely Alk buff. Ooh, does this get both of them? Let's hope it gets both of them. So let's go 101 and move them all back up here. Yes, yeah, so I went for a village with plus one damage. What, would you like a plus one pierce? Also nice, this Alk buff gets both of them. Love to see it. I'll also jungle drums buff this one, just to make things a bit more reliable. And just like that, I'm out of money, so... Uh, should we go for next? Probably some support stuff, so like... I don't know, more blue to slow things down. I think that'd be a good comp complementary piece. We could alternatively spam more artillery batteries, but... Again, it's only for bad damage, so... Uh, I kind of want to beat the rounds before 119, so... Uh, maybe I'll... I'll have that a second priority. More blue sounds great to me, because I can put it right here. And I'll do P training for this one. And we get double double jungle drums on this one. Guarantee pretty much everything gets slowed down. And again, look at this mortar damage. It's pretty nice seeing... I don't know. These bulbs burn this quickly. Oh, for DTC, I should put this back on the bend. Because, yeah, it still doesn't shoot fast enough to be reliable. So I gotta put in a good bend. You know what, let's get a 5-2-2 mortar at home. I'm gonna do it. Overclock. I'm not gonna overclock the balloons in, though, just because, again... I'm only overclocking the biggest one to get, I guess, a slightly better stun. But if you can burnie every balloon, which 2 your 5 mostly does with, you know, these buffs already... I think it can go it up without an overclock. But I want more stun, so let's get it. See how fast this mortar shoots, guys? That's literally a that's a, literally a attack speed mortar. A middle path. I mean, look at those attack speed buffs. You got striker, you got jungle drums, you got jungle drums, you got alk buff, you got overclock. Pretty cracked. You've got super buff mortar at home, guys. Interestingly enough, the uh, balloon incineration has out surpassed the biggest one in damage, but that shouldn't be a surprise because the uh, balloon sin steals damage in terms of the uh, defortification. But even with that, I don't think it added up to this much this much damage, right? By the way, it's really hard to tell. Well, rather, I can't say for certain that these buffs make mortars amazing, but they certainly make, uh... Or make it more clear what the better cross path is. Like, for Bloonson, it's definitely this one. Provided you can, uh... Or you're okay with not having a bit of attack speed, because, again, 50% more damage burn damage is pretty significant. This one's debatable. Because, again, if you want biggest one for stunning... You know, Bernie wouldn't really do much. But, I mean, the damage is really good to pass up on, I feel like. What if we didn't spend anything else for the rest of the game? Don't worry, I caught that, I caught that. I caught that. Uh, this is scary. ETs are kind of going pretty fast. We'll move the biggest one a little bit further back. But we're good. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to spend any of this money until 119. Just to have some options. I don't think this is enough to beat bad, because you already saw- or, or three bads on 119, because you already saw, uh, 100 was not super pretty. Also, random loot's getting far. Alright guys, 119, so, uh, you want to immediately double damage. Let's go. I forgot to combo my artillery battery ability, but actually that does pretty good damage, you see it here? It's not surprising. I did try this on Battle 2 before, and it was only okay as a uh, bad damager. But hey, we're actually making progress, it seems. Look at the... Uh, look at the uh, bad tier. I'm gonna try to make sure to, like, damage all three of them at once. That would be ideal. Unfortunately, that means having to micro everything. Slowly, slowly, over and over. Got this? No, I don't got this. But it's actually way closer than I expected. Like, we're actually gonna pop this with this much extra money to work with. So, uh, hang on. We'll double damage now, and I will... Uh, Use Pop Naw when DT's pop now. And we should kill the insides of those, which is cool. I think we might die to the insides though, so be careful, be careful. I have nothing now. 
Can I go for a Moglu real quick? It probably won't save us, but... Yeah. Damn, look how close this is, though. It's actually crazy that it almost works. Oh, crap! And I forgot to pause the game. Before I died there. That's my bad, that's my bad. But, you know. I have that much extra money. You know for sure, just adding some stuff. I probably would have had that. It's all good. Again, this was just a bonus run to showcase the motors, and, uh... I think it did pretty well. But again, it was on a good map, so... Make sure to use it only in good maps, I guess.